Okay, working on a Highlander hybrid here, uh, 2007 for Albert. Um, it's got an isolation fault. I've disconnected the motor generators, as you can see down there. Um, you can see, got my test lead connected there. And I'm on insulation test. Uh, I'm testing at 250, it might be 500 in the book, I don't remember, but 250 uh, should be fine. I've got the uh, ground lead on inverter. It's grounded. Uh, pause lead there. All right, so I'm going to push this button. It's going to run the test. That little number in the lower right corner is the current voltage. You'll see it's at 264, which means more than 250. And you can see we have greater than, as right there, greater than 275 mega ohms. All right, so greater than 275 million ohms or something. All right, that's normal. That's what it should look like. Now, if I unplug this and I go to the other one, doesn't matter which one I connected, they're all connected at the other end. They should all test the same. So now I'm grabbing onto that. And I'm gonna push the button again. Whoa-oh, zero and one volt not good that means that there is a connection there that electrons are able to get through so you'll see there's no greater than nothing it's zero and only one volt when it's when there's no connection between the high voltage lines and ground you'll see that it'll be 264 and greater than 275 that's the most it can measure Right now there is 275 volts in between the ground stuff and the tip of this. That's why I'm not touching it. But this means no connection. But if there is a path between them, like if I connect these together, right? Now they're both connected to the inverter. You'll see dead short, zero and one, right? So we should have something like this. Um, obviously I could increase the voltage, but if it can go through at 250, then it could go through there. Now, another thing I can do is I can rearrange these. I can switch it just to regular ohms, right? Regular ohms. And if I connect these, it should be zero. Right, took my meters off a little bit, but all right. Now, if I connect it here, I've got 2.7 ohms resistance. I mean, I got a path. That means there's a connection there. See, if I connect it to the other one, it should say out of limit or over limit, which is normal. Just like it's not connected to anything at all. All right, disconnected, nothing open, whatever, but if I connect to here, 2.7 ohms. So there's definitely a connection there. This transmission has a problem inside of it. Probably not going to dig into it. Might do that. Uh, might take the cover off. I have to take one cover off MG2. The new transmission didn't have the cables on it. So I'm going to swap those over. But there you go. Also, just for fun, we can put it on the sound thing, which tells us when there's a connection. And if I connect it here, it beeps. So those the wires that go to these three terminals all connect at the other end. They go into the stator and connect to each other. So in between here is almost like a dead short, just a long wire. But any connection to either of those will go through to the other ones. Um, you can see it doesn't matter which one I connect to, it'll make noise. Noise, noise, noise. The other one, nothing, 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 nothing. Nope, that was the shielding on the ground. See, this is ground. This is not grounded. You can see these also be ground, but so are these. So, Yep. Well, thanks for watching.